with this action taken by the DSS, I mean, looking at the coming days, the, 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 the comments you've heard from different groups, especially in the Southwest, Yoruba groups, uh, what are the you know, options you see? What are the things you see playing out in the coming days? Well, um, I, I think um, uh, the action of the DSS is preemptive. And then, of course, it's also a warning to all those who have been stockpiling arms uh, in different parts of the country. Uh, one important thing is that uh, we have a Moteku. You know, why is Sunday not operating with a Moteku? These are questions that should be asked, you know, but he's operating a separate thing, different from a Moteku, and then, of course, having all kinds of uh, automatic weapons. So uh, with all those kind of loaded uh, magazines, that means it's ready for war. And I don't think that is the way to go. Uh, if we, people are going for self-determination, there are ways, there are peaceful ways of going about it. But does this say anything that, I mean, over time, he has been peaceful about this? He has, and he said it time and again. People have actually said it, that he's always been peaceful about this. So th does that at least uh, lend some credence to his push for self-determination, that this is peaceful and not going to be violent? Okay, if it is peaceful, then he should also go ahead and answer the question why all those cache of arms were found in his house.